That news became official today. It's got you dancing in the well, studio. I was, I was feeling it a You bit, were uh, certainly feeling it. The center feeling. of the WNBA world will be in Indianapolis next year. You're going to be feeling that, I think, a little more come that time. Well, yes, I will. Officials with the WBA and the Indiana Fever confirmed what had just been previously been reports. Mm -hmm. As CBS 4's Eric Graves reports, Indy stepped up when another city had to back out. For the first time ever, the WNBA All-Star Game is coming to Indianapolis. It's giving Hoosiers a chance to once again prove Indiana and basketball go together like peanut butter and jelly, like pick and roll, and like Clark in Boston. With women's sports on the rise like never before, Indianapolis will play host to an event that's skyrocketing in popularity. The WNBA is seeing record numbers in every category from viewership to ticket sales to you know, our merchandise sales. But the chance to host the 2025 WNBA All-Star Game wasn't exactly the plan for Indy even two months ago. This opportunity came to us about six weeks ago. The league was looking at another location that fell through. Pacers Sports and Entertainment CEO Mel Rain says Indy was high on the WNBA's list. I imagine that our success hosting the NBA All-Star Game, Kathy Engelbert, who's the commissioner of the WNBA, was here for that weekend and the success of the fever season all certainly played into that. Danny Lopez with the Pacers Sports and Entertainment says hosting the NBA All-Star Weekend just six months ago gives a blueprint for the plan. Our goal, like it is every every time we host one of these events, is to make it that much harder for future host cities to meet the bar and really raise, raise the threshold. Fans can expect July 18 and 19 to have all the action with the Convention Center playing host to WNBA Live. The WNBA All-Star Game is expected to be at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Fever fans hope to see stars Caitlin Clark, Leah Boston, and Kelsey Mitchell competing like they did this year. The night before will be for the skills competition and three-point contest. The NBA version of that night was inside Lucas Oil this year. Lopez says those details are still being determined. Looking at the big picture, Lopez says Indiana has a chance to be at the center of history in women's sports. Future generations are going to look back at 2024, 2025 as pivotal moments in women's athletics and women's basketball for sure. So mark your calendars for July 18th and 19th WNBA All-Star Weekend 2025. We've got a link on our website where you can sign up for updates like when tickets will be available. Reporting here in downtown, Eric Graves, CBS4 News.